Welcome, this is a tutorial about the new 3D Exchange 5 uh, pipeline. We're going to uh, show you how to bring in a character from uh, Daz, Genesis character. The uh, purpose of it is uh, not the regular bring in just the character that's already been existing in the pipeline, but it's to showcase the new um, facial animation capability that uh, is now resident in the new 3D Exchange, which is fantastic. It allows for bringing in a whole new fleet of external characters and have them uh, them rigged for um, motion and facial puppeteering within iClone. So I'm going to uh, start by actually bringing in the um, the DAS conversion model that uh, Reillusion has already created because it has some of the files that we're going to want for uh, for later. So we're going to go ahead and uh, bring that into the stage now, if I can remember where I had saved it, which I have somewhere in here, I'm fairly certain. So we're going to grab the female avatar. And the reason I'm bringing this in right now, she's on our stage there, is as you'll see, and this might be changed after the, uh, the beta to be already resident in it, but You'll see the uh, the expressions themselves, which is the uh, the facial animations that we want. And as you'll see in here, all of the different tabs are blue, which means that uh, they're already applied to the uh, face. So I'm going to go ahead and save the profile of the the Daz face, and we can call it uh, Daz Default One. So that way we have it saved in our uh, in our folder for uh, for use later. And now we can go ahead and close that. I'm going to go and import a file from a character from Daz that I've already created. So we've got this kind of impish looking uh, character that I created some custom well custom clothes so he wasn't walking around nude. One of the first things that uh, that I like to do with uh, the Daz characters uh, is I like to put all of the actual um, materials themselves into one uh, into a one uh, template so that way it's easy to uh, to utilize later. So we're going to go ahead and do that in here, which as you can kind of see, I've already sort of done that. But we're going to do it again and pop it through so that it has all of the uh, scenarios on there for you. So we'll go ahead and accept that. And now we're going to go ahead and export the character itself. And it's going to be done in XBS. We'll call this guy Imp1. I'll overwrite the old one that we've got there. And you want to make sure that your animations are checked, the figures are checked that you're taking, and the uh, morphs themselves are checked, and that you have it set for bake. And then you can go ahead and accept. It's going to run the animation down, and it's going to run all of the morphs that are created on the character itself. So that way, once we bring it into iClone through the new 3D Exchange, we'll be able to then apply facial puppeteering to the character directly within iClone, which is a really nice enhancement. So it's going to take a, a couple seconds as it's running through the, uh, the, the timeline here with all of the actual um, facial animations themselves um, being put down through there. So. As soon as it's done, we'll pop over to the 3D Exchange and we'll bring him in to, uh, to rig him up uh, nice and quickly. So that's done. And we'll pop back over to 3D Exchange. And we can go ahead and open up that Daz character that we just did, which we saved to our models folder. And we called him Imp one 
So you're going to see some uh, messages pop up as it does this right now. It's reading the, uh, the information and it's going to recognize the fact that this character does have facial um, modeling right here as you can see the thing so we want us to go ahead and click yes it's going to then bring in our character you can see that the uh, materials uh, didn't come through there but they are there uh, I'm gonna go ahead really quickly for those of you who might not know how to adjust the um, the actual skin again I this this is set up this way just basically um, because I had put it onto one uh, one texture map in itself so we're gonna go ahead and change this out Oops. if I can learn to type and then that way I want to embed this texture so it stays with the character itself and then we're gonna go ahead and paint it over the different texture areas of the character it just allows me to do it fairly quickly. Um, this isn't the main uh, purpose of the of the uh, tutorial, so I'm just going to do this very roughly, just so that, that way we can kind of get the character set up. But again, for those of you that uh, that are wondering why it's all black and how to adjust it, that's how you go ahead and do it with your images here. So there we've got that all done. And the eyes and the eyelashes. Okay. So now our character has some textures. Well, we'll leave his nails black. That's fine. So we've got him textured up. And now you can see here you've got your expression editor and that file that I saved before you'll notice when we go in here the head movement and the eye movement is all pre-configured and set but the jaw and the mouth movement and the muscles is not and again this may change by the time the uh, the actual alpha is released versus the um, the this beta version but if not then again this is how you can adjust that that profile that we saved for the Genesis character is already there we called it does default um, and or default one we can open that up and apply it and as a result then you'll see that we have now the actual mock-ups of all of the effects that are going to now work with the character so if you'll go in if you want to check any of these scenarios those are all going to apply and look good for our character. So now we're going to go ahead and bring them straight into iClone. First, we're going to convert them to non-standard. Because this is a Genesis character, it's automatically got the uh, the rig in it, and you can go ahead and check if you if you feel the need. You're going to see that it's all pretty much there. So we're not going to worry about that too much because again, we already know that it's um, it's set up for the rigging itself if you need to change some of the uh, the foot calibration or floor contact or something you can go ahead and do that but we'll go ahead and convert this now and now uh, this character is rigged up ready to be moved in iClone it has our head animations and it does have our um, our regular body bones rigging so we're going to go ahead and apply him into iClone so that, that way we can Go ahead and show you how it can be manipulated right in iClone and the purpose of this is the face so again we'll just take a quick peek up here now this character which is a, a you know a Daz character fully rigged we want to go ahead and animate the the face itself and we can use the existing iClone facial edits through puppeteering channel we can apply any of the individual uh, faces, as you'll see here, whether it's Chuck, uh, any of the, uh, the presets that are on it. And now when we preview the character itself, we're going to get the actual facial animation. We can do the blinking and any of those features that, uh, that we'd like to see in the character itself. So now it's all fully rigged up ready to go 
and as you'll see again any of our characters here now have nice fully featured movement in iClone that we can utilize for purposes and it'll work with the wave imports and whatnot so hope that was uh, beneficial for you and uh, this new tool uh, makes it uh, fantastic for bringing in facially rigged uh, characters and now having them fully functional within iClone's uh, standard uh, utilization uh, of facial animation so I'm looking forward to testing it out and putting some more tutorials on as we go along